So Aleph Objects makes the Lulzbot line of desktop 3D printers. So they're fused filament fabrication, or FFF, machines that print a whole range of different plastics, uh, anything from ABS and PLA to polyesters, nylons, and more. It's been a really exciting year. Uh, we've grown a lot. In 2015, our sales tripled, and we closed the year with around $15 million in sales. We're definitely seeing very strong momentum towards open innovation and collaboration. Now, the desktop industry was actually born out of the RepRap movement, so it was born with open collaboration, and there's been a few exceptions of companies trying different approaches, but what we're seeing is that the community, the customers, material developers want to see open collaboration, and so we're thrilled to be a part of it and to contribute to that. At CES 2016, we announced the Dual Extruder version 2, so it has two all-metal hot ends, and basically, it's just rolling out our already successful hardware, which has over a million hours of internal use, which because we use those tool heads for production. Um, and so now, with the tool head, customers can upgrade a Lulzbot TAS, and they can print with two materials at once, uh, or use a dedicated support material. Actually, the dual extruder was born out of one of our customers who did an initial design and posted it on the Lulzbot forum. Uh, our team built a version, made some iterations, and that was the version one. We work with a company uh, that helped us develop an improved hot end, and now we've released two ones, so, uh, the new one. So the whole story of this tool head actually is built out of the community. At CES, we're showing lots of new materials, but the one that we're most excited about is one in partnership with Eastman Chemical Company and ColorFab. And it's a new industrial, really designer-grade co-polyester that was built from day one to be used for 3D printing. Rather than trying to force some plastic to be able to prototype, the whole point is that it needs to be able to achieve really specific performance specifications. And so we've already gotten great feedback and we think it's going to be an important plastic for our customers. In the 3D printing industry in general and even outside of it, we're seeing collaboration be the way forward. Um, really the desktop industry wouldn't exist without it, um, but what's exciting is that as it matures and gets more sophisticated, those efforts are compounding and more people are getting together and coming up with better ideas. And we think that that's the most true in the material space. I'm Sander Schreibos, I'm from uh, ColorFab. We are a Dutch manufacturer and developer of uh, 3D printing uh, filaments. We uh, produce uh, everything in-house in the Netherlands, in Venlo, as a town in the southern Netherlands. And our aim is to produce the best uh, filaments possible. High quality, functional filaments, a wide range of different filaments. Uh, but all kinds of different functionality or aesthetic qualities. Uh, this uh, during the CES, we are launching Engine together with Lulzbot. Engine is made from Eastman uh, Chemicals Amphora AM3300. Uh, that material is specifically designed for 3D printing. It is very melt stable, meaning that from pellet to filament to end product, it retains its uh, properties very well. It's a very strong, stiff material. It's a functional material. It has a, a glass temperature of 85 degrees, already doubling that uh, of that of PLA. We see it in a wide range, be it uh, toys, uh, wrap wrapping, at home use, schools. Uh, people need more functionality in their 3D prints where, uh, who actually don't get the functionality from the standard PLA. They can choose for the engine material. Well, we see the market moving from the hobby market to business to business. Businesses have more uh, demands and also the consumer themselves have more demands uh, regarding the materials. They want more functionality, they want reliability, they want printability, they want to have all these, uh, all these things from the material. And we see that there's a, there's a shift coming from those speci materials specifically designed for 3D printing away from the commodities that we know like ABS and PLA. We are actually in uh, 2014, we launched uh, with Eastman Chemical, we launched uh, the first uh, Amphora material. It's all uh, part of the Amphora family called ColorFab XT. Engine is a, is a next generation material, uh, working on a, practically the same settings as PLA and also aiming to look into that market for more, more functionality. And we are also looking into developing more materials in, 20, in 2016 together with Eastman and partners like Lulzbot. My name is Alex Dudal. I'm a market development manager for Eastman Chemical Company. Eastman is a specialty chemicals company. Uh, we supply a variety of uh, products and raw materials that are used in manufacturing of all sorts of consumer, uh, commercial, industrial products, everything from uh, specialty plastics to intermediaries and a variety of uh, other uh, chemical products. Eastman is uh, at the very front of the value chain that helps bring uh, 3D printing and related services and products to the consumers. Uh, so most of consumers that usually interact with uh, companies like 3D printer manufacturers, filament suppliers, distributors. Uh, Eastman actually is at the very front of that. We supply the raw material, uh, the plastics that are then used to manufacture the filament uh, that consumers are very well familiar with. 
Eastman uh, supplies uh, Amphora uh, 3D printing uh, polymers, uh, which is uh, products, uh, materials that are designed specifically for 3D printing. Uh, it's a great combination of materials that offer excellent processability, uh, low odor, uh, being styrene free, uh, that are uh, allow customers, uh, uh, you know, users of 3D printing, uh, to have a good printing experience, but also uh, provide the performance, the toughness uh, required for really uh, taking 3D printing to the next level, uh, beyond prototyping to more functional parts, and being able to do that uh, at the uh, consumer and prosumer level uh, 3D printers. For 3D printing uh, to ultimately grow and become even bigger than it is right now, you have to have uh, uh, a collaboration between hardware, uh, materials, and software also. And I think there's been a lot of development on the hardware side. Uh, there's new printers being introduced constantly. There's definitely been a lot of uh, development in the software side. A and uh, now uh, you just need the materials that can really help enable to take full advantage of the hardware that's been designed. Uh, and that's why we're here uh, to bring the functionality, uh, the performance required to take the hardware uh, to the next level and enable even more applications and enable the growth in this 3D printing market. You know, like I mentioned, the collaboration between different sides and different services uh, in this industry is extremely important. So we're definitely uh, seeing our role in that increase and we want to continue to uh, working with companies like uh, Lausbauer and Colorfab uh, to be able to enable them uh, to provide more functional filaments, to enable them to take full advantage of the hardware uh, that they design and uh, which ultimately will allow the users of 3D printing uh, materials to find new applications, uh, find new uses and grow the industry overall.